So it's been two weeks from now and still I haven't made a new video after I uploaded the video of Shower Showcase in which I gave him the new build and doing a little bit of a showcase on Masanori on Inazuma. And still we haven't received any info about the overall progress of version 2.7. Also, there is one exception here that Hoyoverse already posted on Twitter or in Hoyolab of an upcoming new 4-star animal character named Shikanoin Hazel. I don't, I don't know if I pronounced it correctly, let me know guys in the comments below. In which, in my honest opinion, I don't give a shit about that. I, I mean, this is their way of attracting coomers, degens, husbando addicts, whalers, free-to-plays, or casual players, in which some of them already quitted the game because there's not much content in it. Now, as I mentioned earlier, since there's no much content left in the game as of today's recording, I decided to showcase my Ayato build. I would say that the artifacts that I have right now are a total trash. Well, the build I have for Shell, since I already uploaded a video in regards to the new build I gave it to him, I would say decent, but nothing special about it. Nothing biased here, just being honest, that's all. And as for my Ayato build, might as well do a bit of showcase in this artifact domain in the chasm. So the team comp I'm using right now will be the same team comp I used in the shower showcase. By the way, if you haven't watched the video before, the link is in the description below. And this is the current build that I'm using right now on Kamisato Ayato. And by the way, ignore the incoming healing bonus that will be around 30%. Uh, this is just some kind of a passive effect from the elemental resonance if you have two characters with the same element on your team comp. I still have Barbara for that one, so <laughs> don't care. I still have the crit rate around 66.4 and a crit damage around 215, and I'm still having a hard time to do a 1 by 2 ratio because of the artifacts that I have right now on him. So, yeah, beats it. And I'm still using an attack cup instead of using a hydro cup even though I have one but it doesn't match up to the 4 piece set that I'm planning to give it to him. And this is the weapon that I was used that I used it before on Kazuha but I decided to switch things out and give this to him and give this weapon to him. And as for the artifacts this is the current uh, build that I'm using from him. 4 piece echoes of an offering which is I don't know if this could be the signature artifact for him so anyway moving on to the flower and as you can see majority of the upgrades are moving to hp percentage and same goes to crit damage as well but uh quite decent same goes to the feather i don't know if this is a bit copium but uh, it doesn't matter anyway the flower has the hp and defense same goes to the flower here as well and i really really hate that kind of stats right now on the current uh, artifact that i gave it to him and as for the timepiece, this is will be my temporary timepiece since this this was originally owned by Tartaglia. But I decided to swap things out just to make sure I achieved the crit uh, crit ratio one by two, but it doesn't actually work out. But quite decent though. And I can still see that right there. And I'm really loving it. And as for the cup, I'm using the attack percentage cup. And as you can see it right here, it has the same substat with the flower and same goes to the feather. And I still have the Hydra damage cup, but the problem is it's not an Echoes of an Offering piece set. It was actually this one right here. Quite decent though, but still <laughs> doesn't match up to the 4 piece artifact that I have for her, for him. And this is why I'm now having a hard time to get as many artifacts and also eh, I'm getting tired right now lately because doing grinds every day and all the things, all the artifacts that you can claim are a bit trashy, but sometimes a bit decent, and sometimes there's a rare chance that you can get a perfect substat for the specific artifacts. And this is the current circuit that I have for him, but uh, I also had one for Hu Tao, but uh, you know what? Hmm. Wait a second. Anyway, swap this thing out. And uh, I still haven't fully built Hotel. Might as well. I don't want her add. I don't. I don't want to have. I don't want to add her on my team. Honestly, I. I she's cute though, but I don't really like her playstyle though. And the highest damage that I can dealt to the enemies is around twenty three k or twenty five k hydro damage, if I'm not mistaken. Us. 
flower uh, okay not the specific artifact that I'm looking for so I'm gonna skip that one Okay, feather. <clears throat> well, too close. Too close. I will have order. I'm going in. Let's dance. Mind the damage. <laughs> A flower again, crit damage, and defense, no, that's trash. Circlet, HP percentage, nope. Feather again, crit rate, HP death, nah, trash. I will have order. Kamisato up. Suyu. Teamwork is true. Cascade. Be still. Stabilize. Let's light it up. Cascade. Time peace, ah, uh, worse. Solidified. 
Oh wait, one more thing. I think I forgot something to do here. I will have order. The depth back. Everybody stand. I'll protect them. Now if you take a look at this, this is the total amount of attack with attack buff from Bennett's Elemental Burst, Barbarous uh, R5 uh, Freeling Tales of Dragon Slayers, which can give you 48% attack buff on the next character in field, plus with a 20% increase from Zhongli's uh, four-piece tenacity if your elemental skill hits an enemy uh, continuously. Okay, circlet, HP, nah, that's the worst. Cup, cry damage, mm. copium, but I decided to give this one maybe on other characters who are good at supporting to others. Yeah, I guess that's it for everything. Might as well have to wait for another days or maybe another week just to get the rest and filled up. So thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye everyone. Take care and stay safe.